They've done it again. They have absolutely outdone themselves. You know, you have a situation. I think when we look at the Lakers, the Lakers love former Lakers. And then you get too many Lakers in there. And then all of a sudden, ego and who should be calling the shots. And, and it's basically a mom and pop shop. If you go back to when Jerry Buss owned this team, you know, it was a family with Jerry West in there. There weren't a lot of people that you had to go through to get acknowledgement from or sign off on. And now all of a sudden, you got the wives of former Lakers who are involved in this. And Kurt Rambis, his wife. Like, wait, how did that happen? You know, you think Jerry West, all the all the great front office people. And then you go, and uh, Kurt Rambis' wife, of course. I'm going, what is, why is she involved in this? If, if you want Ty Lue, LeBron wants Ty Lue, you're only going to give him three years instead of what he wanted was five years, and you want to give the impression that LeBron is not making this coaching hire, give him the five years. Because then it says... We think Ty Lue is good enough to be our coach after LeBron leaves. If he's good enough for three years, is he should be good enough for five years. Why is it Monty Williams got five years in Phoenix and Luke Walton got five years in Sacramento? Ty Lue, and, and look, I know that being unemployed, turning down the Laker job must have been tough to do, but I do respect Ty Lue for saying, look, I don't want to be this, I'll be a lame duck coach from day one, if I go in there and you give me a three-year deal because LeBron is on a three-year deal. If you want me as a coach, hire me as a coach, not as LeBron's lackey. And I don't think Ty Lu is that. Um, I, I still go back and say, isn't this a bigger job, a more important job? You're coaching the Lakers, you're coaching LeBron. And as it turns out, it's not. This isn't a big job. Yeah, Seaton. The Lakers are so dysfunctional right now that Magic Johnson was like, nah, forget it, I'm out. <laughs> Magic Johnson, that's how terrible of a job it is right now working for the Lakers that he was like, nah, you know what, I'm good. Magic Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Paul. We have, Seat and I came up with a poll question. Who's having a worse playoffs? The Celtics, the Lakers. The Lakers who are not in the playoffs, <laughs> still managing to get a few L's. I'm going to, wow, I'm going to say the Celtics it's have had a worse playoff. Close. <laughs> But it's close. Lakers won no game. Celtics yeah. won a couple. Yeah. You know, maybe the Lakers have had a worse playoff because the Celtics at least are going to have talent. You know, they wake up today. They still have talent. They have a future. They have draft picks. Um, and they have a coach in Brad Stevens where the Lakers are coachless right now. And you waited. The story I told you yesterday was they didn't want the perception to be let's hire, hire Ty Lue right away. We're going to wait till Monty Williams takes the Phoenix job. And then we'll hire Ty Lue because he's the guy we wanted all along. As if you should care about perception, you should care about the reality. Did you get your guy? Who cares? Because most of us, and I said this yesterday, are going to believe that LeBron wanted Ty Lue. Who cares when you hire him? Hire him. And now you're looking at some of these other guys, Frank Vogel, Mike Woodson, Jason Kidd, maybe Jawan Howard. Okay, this is the Lakers. What are you doing? Yeah, Paul. When you sent me that article yesterday, Kurt Rambis' wife is factoring in the Lakers' yeah. decisions. I thought you were sending me like a joke article, like The Onion. No. Like, no. James Worthy's nephew blocks Ty <laughs> Lou deal. What? I thought it was a total joke. Mike Schreck's babysitter <laughs> right. says, doesn't want Ty Lou. Byron Scott's uncle says, no to <laughs> Lou. Just hire him. And now, it, I don't know. It, it seems like. And, and now you're hearing the stories, well, hey, maybe you consider trading LeBron James. I don't know what you can get for LeBron James, but at this, at this stage where, where you're headed, I would certainly consider it. I, I would at least, uh, I'd be open to that possibility here. And I, at this stage of the game, I think all bets are off on what could happen here. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.